Well, interesting class of Aprils. Uh, got quite a variation in size and scale and performance. But I'm going to use a modern black heifer here. I, I think she puts the most things, good things together of, of, of the three. And probably first and foremost, I, I like the moderation of her within this class. I, I think she's, when you project her out, she's going to be a more optimal size cow in the end. And that, that's not to, it's not to say we don't have some quality here. But I, and this one here is, you know, really sweet necked, really good in her angles, love her at the point of her shoulder, got a big old hip and pelvis in her, and very, very sound. Not a lot you can pick her apart about, just a good, useful kind of a female. I congratulate that young lady. Wonderfully presented, beautifully exhibited uh, female here in second, just on the bigger end of what I, I, I call practical, but still, you can't deny a lot of good in this female. There's, I mean, there's some breeding possibilities on this one. You know, big body, big top, heavy muscles, still ladylike up front, you know, and sound moving. Young lady is just, just a little more in frame size than what I prefer to hear today, but, you know, you get a different set of eyes, you know, you certainly could have ran that one to the top. Young man's heifer coming next, another bigger framed heifer, a little more daylight under her. Probably like to, like to maybe body her down just a nickel, but still, you know, some usefulness because of the extra length that she exhibits. Still sweet enough up front, still feminine enough in her inner lines. Just needs the body down a little bit to be compared to be competitive with those other other ones within that class. There's results on class 737A. First place 566, Miss Gia, Charlie Joy Holt, Aberdeen, South Dakota. Second 567, Miss Bella, Cassidy Barker, Kearney, Missouri. Third, 564, Copper Penny, Lane Blankenship, Orlando, Oklahoma. Up next, our second and final class in the late junior heifer calf division over on the Keenina Junior Show. It'll be class 737B. Birth dates range March 1st through March 27, 2019. Once again, our judge, Jim Bloomberg from Berwick, Illinois. I want to take just a moment here and thank our stadium arena sponsors. They include Saunders Construction, locally founded in 1972, now one of the largest and most stable construction companies in the state. Saunders offers well-paid positions with opportunities for career growth. Visit www.saundersinc.com for more information on career opportunities. Also want to thank John Deere, the official agriculture and turf equipment provider of the National Western. Visit your local John Deere dealer for great deals now. And remember, nothing, I mean nothing, runs like a deer. Also want to thank Big Bubba's. I know it's breakfast time. And you can already start thinking about some great food at the National Western. Don't forget about the South Food Court. You'll find mouth-watering ribs at Big Bubba's Bad Barbecue. Yep, they even work for breakfast. Everything garlic at Garlicky's and juicy hamburgers as well with all the fixings at Good Old Burger. Great service and great food. Thanks to Big Bubba's. Also new this year, the Continental Farm Show is proud to support the National Western, and they invite you to attend their event next week, the 56th Colorado Farm Show, January 28th, 29th, and 30th at Island Grove Regional Park in Greeley. The theme, if you eat it, drink it, or wear it, agriculture produced it. Over 300 vendors and tons of educational breakout sessions all three days, including Beef Day on January 28th. You can check out the full schedule and more information online and see a digital brochure at ColoradoFarmShow.com. Hope to see you in Greeley. Once again, thanks to the Colorado Farm Show, Big Bubba's, John Deere, and Saunders Construction, our stadium arena sponsors. A really, really incredible class here in the Charlotte April Heifer Calf uh, 
uh, set of them here, and I, I'm way blown away by the quality that we have here uh, on the top end. And you study those cattle from start to finish, and uh, you have to admire the good in them all the way down. I think it gets really close here on the top end of the class, and there's some few different kinds that you have to work with. I really like the construction, the foot size, and the structure in this female from the ground up. She is absolutely unrivaled in terms of her footwork and how she comes to the ground. She's really got an attractive hind leg to go with it, but just so massive in terms of her rib shape, her body. You know, she's maybe got a little bit more neck and throat in her in comparison to some of the other heifers in the class, but you study that heifer for what she is, and that is an incredible beast, in my opinion, to go ahead and start the class with. This heifer that comes in second is a little bit more moderate in her size, but I think it really fits her well. She is a little more sharp up through her front end, laid in smoother in her shoulder. Love the quality and just attractiveness there in her. I think as you get on either side of her, she gets maybe just a little bit narrower there in terms of her base width, but a nice heifer in terms of structure and quality, really like her feet and legs. This heifer that comes around in third is deadly in terms of her presence, her quality up through her front end. I love that smoothness of shoulder that she has in her, length of body, it's all right, and I love the freshness and quality of condition that she's in. For me, as you study her out through her hip, she needs to be changed there and just uh, leveled out and just more correct. You get in behind this heifer and you watch her go away from you. She needs to be squared up there in that rear foot, just a little bit more stable there at the ground. A real massive bodied broody female coming next here in third. Love the doability and just the, the volume of this female. She's very stout when you get in behind her. To me, just a little bit plain though, as you step off to the side of her. And I'd like to see her set down just a little bit different there in her hawk. Um, really like that uh, uh, doability and body. Bring a female next coming um, that you like in terms of just how she's set up, the quality and the smoothness of her. She gets a little bit more upright there through her knee and just turns out those front feet ever so slightly, but a heifer that's just greener in her condition and really needs more time. Heifer that's a little further along, has a little more volume about her, a little more weight per day of age. I like the strength in her top line. She just gets a little bit more narrow, though, as you get in front of her uh, for the amount of condition that she has. So we work on down on this class, another really stout, thick heifer, uh, just not quite the smoothness, not quite the balance in her, but a really nice one as we work on down on the rest of the class. Some good cattle, don't quite have the structure, don't quite have the balance, but very well presented. Let's give them a big, big hand. There's results on class 103A. First place, 2880, Martina. Ty William Goss, Leedy, Oklahoma. In second, 2895, Jasmine. WGB Charlays, London Mills, Illinois. Creasy Charlays, Macomb, Illinois. Wright Charlays, Richmond, Missouri. In third, 2891, Giselle. Kelton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Fourth, 2892, Georgia. White Rose Charlays, Clearwater, Minnesota. Thomas Ranch, Harold, South Dakota. In fifth, 2897, J&J &J Angelina. Charlie Johnson, Orlando, Oklahoma. Sixth, 2900, Jackie. Katie Utech, Hubbard, Nebraska. Seventh, 3002, Miss Gabby. Caden Brian Bradshaw, Fruita, Colorado. Eighth, 2896, Lazy H, Pixie Proof. Madeline Rohr, Elbert, Colorado. Ninth, 2894, Venus. Autumn Dietrich, Molshu, Texas. Tenth, 2884, Gabby. Austin George, Mondovi, Wisconsin. Program placings for Class 103A are as follows. At the bottom of that page is Scratch. Top of the next page, 110, Scratch. 734, Scratch 9. Top of the next page. Two eight five six, in the ring with our judge Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. This is Class One Hundred Three B Early Spring Heifer Calves, our last class before our Spring Calf Division Championship.
doors, old sawdust floors are still your heart. Well, super class over here took a little bit more time on these top three. They're, they're, they're really, really good, and it depends what who set of eyes does it and what kind of priorities you have. But I think these top two paired up just because of the, the type and kind they, they are and how smooth and balanced they are and how everything transitions from front to rear in these two females. So I'll simply put this one here, just got a little more to her when you get here today when you get right on top of her. A little wider out through her hip. A little wider setting her pins got more shape down her top here today you know and she is a beast in the middle part of her body wide based and for all that extra power she has really gets around the ring well also i mean here's one i, th I think is very very good maybe make that pushing just a nickel more shoulder than our second place heifer but i still she thinks she has the angles she's good off her front front end and, and still cowie looking nice heifer to win the class Good, good heifer here in second. I think a little, little fresher looking, a little more attractive, probably up to her front one third. A little skinnier about her neck and her, the crest of her neck, you know, and, and just really good when she gets out on the move. Maybe not quite as heavy structured, and you get right on top for her today. She's just not quite as much cow here today. I think it'll come. Like I said in a class earlier, you know, these cattle are going to get switched up and down later because their quality is so good. And this one here, just the young lady does a really good job showing her nothing wrong with that, with that one. Between the top two, just not quite as much effort today. Big, powerful female here coming next. It just really gives you a nice look. Probably on the upper end of size for me. We've been talking about that. You know, I hope she tones down later on. Really, good from her shoulders back, you got to love her. Dead, on her. dead good on her top. Dead level out through her hip and the tail head. Super sound. like to transition her with a little more ump. Um, from her blade back into her heart, she probably pinches in just a little more than what I prefer. I, I, I like that, that. And then when you compare those other two, she's just not quite as smooth up there. Solid good heifer coming out here next with some good lines. Maybe not as quite soft middle as the, some of those other ones. A little more tubular in her body design. Next heifer out, our white flank female, big style female that doesn't make, just probably doesn't get out of her hip and front end quite as nicely. You know, just kind of I think just needs a little more. Uh, athleticism to be competitive next heifer we I feel sorry for the young lady it didn't show worth a darn but I mean that's a nice heifer a lot of good look like, to her when she stops and you get a good look at her you know just hard to get a good look, look at her here today but she's got pieces that'll make her a brood cow prospect for the young lady then a young man is a female I mean one that on the stand you can bring up the line quite a little bit just her skeleton gets out of shape when she gets on the travel up up in her top and down in her hip I just like to change that about her to get her up the line a little more. Okay, back on the Charlay side, I think we've got a really good class and an awesome place to start, and a female that's just deadly good. Uh, study that quality and just the smoothness up through that front end and shoulder, and then see what you get from behind in terms of her pin width, her dimension, her bone work, her joint quality. She's sound and she's good at the ground. That's a really high quality place to start here in this class. Female that comes next and second, uh, there's tons of doability and mass and rib about her. I like the dimension and, and she still has the quality and balance in her in her own right. She just doesn't have maybe a quite that elite look uh, to her that that class winner does. I'd like to strengthen her up in behind her shoulder and square those front feet up on her up front. She's a bear to handle today and so we didn't 
didn't really get her best look at her, but I still like the good in that female in terms of her rib and body. From here, I went with just a female I think is just really nice. Uh, she's got some quality to her. She has some balance, and I'm just more comfortable with her in terms of where she's at in terms of her frame size and the heifer that comes next and forth. This female just needs a little bit more time. She got in a stout class and just gives up some of the power and performance that we get in those top two. Female coming next, like I said, has that performance and length and just wait per day of age about her. She's, to me, just a little bit plainer. I'd correct her up there in her front end and knee ever so slightly and just moderate her a touch. We come next in this class with kind of a trio of females that all have a pretty nice sharp look to them from the profile. Uh, they're nice in their condition. They just get a little bit more narrow in terms of their base width and give up some of the shape and dimension uh, that I'd like to see in them. And we'll close the class with a female that's a little plainer, has a little bit more muscle shape and dimension in her, just a little bit plainer and rougher in terms of her balance. Give them a nice hand. Really enjoyed that class. Catch up on results here. Class 103B on the Charlet side. Early spring heifer calves. First place, 2918. Bell Elvira, 399 ET. Ruby Grace Bell, Bristow, Oklahoma. Second, 2902. Miss Gloria, Landon Smith, Rigby, Idaho. Third, 2908. J and J Angelina, Charlie Johnson, Orlando, Oklahoma. Fourth, 2904. Miss Carbon, Tana Grigg, Webb City, Missouri. Fifth, 2909, Miss Gemma, Paige Gaffney, Barnafield, Wisconsin. Sixth, 2906, Miss Gwen, Katie Utek, Hubbard, Nebraska. Seventh, 2916, Lady Mora, Ty Ann Tillefson from Morden, Washington. Eighth, 2910, Chicks Avanti, 1904, Camille Asmus from Houston, Texas. There was no ninth. Here are the placings in your programs on 103B. Two, four, scratch. Top of the next page, six, scratch. Three, five, eight, scratch, seven, one. First and seconds back in the ring from our first set of classes. This will be your spring calf division championship with our judge once again, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. We got this March April division over here in the uh, Keenina show, and, and what a nice set of heifers! And not, not, I'm not going through each one of them. You heard me talk about them already, and I think I think that's enough. And to me, there's a pair that uh, in that last class, you know, that it was, it was to me, I called a flip flop pair. You could go either way. There's no reason not to use them both here again today. Uh, right there, you'll be your champion, young lady. You'll be reserved. Congratulations. Catch up on results on the hey. National Western Junior Kidina show. Awesome Going back to Class 737B, which is also where your late junior heifer division champions come from. First place is a ride in your program, 554 Thunder Girl. Turner Longacre from Kellyville, Oklahoma. That was also your champion for the division. Second place was 562 in reserve in the division, Dunk Ace. That is Hadley Dunklow, Wayne, Nebraska. Third, 558, Who Dat Darling, Sarah Sullivan Dunlap, Iowa. Fourth, 559, Mela, Braden Smalley from Nevada, Iowa. Fifth is a write in in your program, 556, Blue, Valerie Meyer, Houstonia, Missouri. Sixth, 557, Winona, excuse me, Frank Winona, Caitlin Hart, Berthoud, Colorado. Seventh, 608, Macon Pennies, Hunter Perrier from Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Program placings for Class 737B and the division championship on the keys. Two in reserve, four, three, six, seven. The two right ends, 556 was fifth, and the champion in first place in the class, 554. Up next in the ring with our judge from Berwick, Illinois. This will be Seven thirty eight A, seven thirty eight A, first of two classes in the early junior half forget division. Well what a great way to kick off our first division. I think uh what an elite set of cattle that we've had in these uh, first few calf classes. Very impressed with your breed, very impressed with these females. 
I see some future in them. Most importantly, I see some cows. I uh, love their feet, uh, feet and uh, just their structure. Love them at the ground and just uh, how these cattle move for the amount of mass and power that they have. I think you could go a couple different ways, but uh, there's, there's one heifer that I think just stands out um, pretty elite in terms of her kind. I'll show you that heifer and then uh, pull in a reserve. But uh, give these exhibitors, give these breeders a nice hand. What a quality division here. We'll double check those results on that division for the Charlay just to make sure we got them right. Your spring calf division champion. Comes out of the last class, 29-18, Bell Elvira, Ruby Grace Bell, Bristol, Oklahoma. And your reserve comes from class three, I believe. 2880, JCS Martina, 311G, Ty William Goss, Lady, Oklahoma. Up next for the Charlay will be Class 104A Junior Heifer Cavs. Over on right. the Jeep. Over here on the Keenan side, once again, we got a pair up here that's just kind of a toss up. You know, these are two outstanding individuals. Just depends on where you set your priorities. You know, I can, I could probably talk either one of them to win the class. That's how good they are. They have their advantages both over the other, but uh, these are two nice efforts. You can throw mobility and soundness out as, as a distraction just because they're really good on their feet and legs. I mean, this heifer that wins the class, really long pattern. Love her strength on her top, especially like how she transitions from the point of her shoulder back in that lower forerib. 
Uh, get right on top of this one. Get right behind her, I think, is probably the deciding factor of the two. I just re reading a little more pelvis in this one. A little wider set of her pins. And the way her tail head sits in there, uh, I think that's what was the deciding factor on her. You know, she's not as big bold rib when you get on top of her as the one right behind her. Didn't, maybe didn't take quite a good a fill today. Who knows? But, I mean, I like that type. She's feminine. She's sound. Just got a little more true muscle shape when you get behind her. This one in, in second. I mean, I just love this one when she gets around the ring and floats. I mean, this one here is dead sound. The other one is too, but you know, you love the attractiveness that this heifer has up through her front end. Size your profile, I mean, to me is just deadly. I think where I, the deciding factor between the two, you get right on top of this one, it, you, you wonder, does she surely got enough shape up through that hip? You know, is she wide enough up, up in her pelvis when you compare to that other one? You know, time will tell. But that one there's real, real good. You're gonna have a lot of fun with that one. Really a close pair. Young man's heifer acted up on him. This is a nice heifer also. And, you know, of the three, she's the biggest status bone one of the three. Probably the biggest foot of the three. Gets around, around all right. She wants to get a little choppy, and that's because she's acting kind of silly. But, you know, there's a lot of good to that one. A little coarser made in, in, in her muscle makeup than I prefer. Maybe not quite as feminine when you view her, when you compare to those other two. Sorry about that, Mr. Bloomberg. Here's results on class 738A, our first of two within this early junior heifer division. First place, 576, Jay Sol, who's Darlin? Hadley Dunclow, Wayne, Nebraska. Second, 583, Dat Shiny Darlin. Brett Pembroke, Fairview, Oklahoma. Third, 611, Who Dat Girl? Clint, Maine, Seymour, Indiana. Placings in 738 are scratch two, three, scratch one. Up next, two entries, 738B, then the division championship. Judge once again, Jim Bloomberg from Berwick, Illinois. Really nice class again, and uh, impressed with the quality and the depth of the class. It's all really nice, but uh, you know, this heifer that wins the class to me just has a, a lot of eye appeal, a lot of quality there about her. Appreciate the strength there in her top and the attractiveness there in her hind leg and hip. For the amount of quality that she has, she's still shaped really, really well in terms of that dimension and width. And I think as you compare her to the rest of the class, as we get down into it, where her chest floor sets in her uh, for the amount of condition that she has on her, I think it's really optimum, a really high quality place to start. Female that comes next and second, I like the rib and the doability about her. I think again, she's made a little bit neater down into the floor of her chest and the heifer it sets there in third and fourth. I like the dimension and shape that she comes back with. I would like to relax her just ever so slightly up through that front end. Could be just her attitude and how she's handling it out here today. Frozen ears kind of take away from her front end quality, but I see a lot of balance and good in that heifer. Female that comes next and third, I really like the depth and the volume of this female. She has more performance and WDA there about her. Uh, female, as I pick on her just a little bit, uh, just has a little more chest in her. A little like to see her a little bit more attractive there out through her rump and her tail head and then just give her a little bit more base width up front and set her down on those front toes ever so slightly differently. Female that comes next here in fourth, uh, I like the volume and rib and here's one that I'd like to do more for because I like the, the low input kind of performance and just base width in her. To me, she just pushes a little bit more there through her front end. Uh, gets a little bit plainer down through the floor of her chest and like to lay her tail head in her just a little bit differently. Finish the class with two really high performing long bodied females. Don't have quite the balance and shape to them that we get in the cattle that win the class. But uh, let's give them a nice hand. A really outstanding set of Charlotte cattle again. Oh. Over here on the Keenina side, our last class in this calf division uh, here, and we're going to have a, a division right after this. Nice, two nice efforts. I think the one that wins the class does so quite handily because 
kind of like what we've been talking about today, the balance that she has, how everything ties together in a nice smooth package. Really good on her feet and legs. I mean, reaches well for when she gets out on the move. Just a nice, outstanding female. Be interesting when she come, we come back in here for division. Young Lady Seffer in second, a good kind of a female. Like her lines, like the strength on her top, the extra length that she exhibits in that side view profile. Probably not quite as sappy in that middle part of her body as, as the one that wins the class and maybe get, just gets a little off on her front too when you watch her get out and travel. But there's some usefulness to this. There's some breeding possibilities on this female. Congratulations to those two young ladies. Catch up on results here. Class 738B on the key side. First place, 574, Swirl. Brooke Hayden, Lowell, Indiana. Second, 572, total set. Riley Schur from Pisgah, Iowa. Up next, first and second is back at the ring from 738A and B. This will be early junior heifer calf division championship with our judge, Jim Bloomberg from Berwick, Illinois. Over in the ring for Charlay will be class 104B. Junior heifer calves are in the ring right now. After this will be a division championship. I'll try to roll through these results. On class 104A, first place 29-31, Montella, Addison, Albers, Wisner, Nebraska. Second, 29-22, Gala, Taylor Goring, McPherson, Kansas. In third, 29-33, Randy, Elizabeth, Elliott, LaSalle, Colorado. Fourth, 29-27, that's Lizzo, Thomas, Charlay Incorporated, Raymondville, Texas. Fifth, 29-29, Sherry's Fire, Paul Hoops, Lettuce, Iowa. In sixth, 28-28, Miss Prairie Cove, Prairie Cove Farm, Bowden, Alberta, Canada. Program placings for 104A on the Charlay Junior Heifer Camp. Two, scratch, four, six, five, one, three. You know, here's a pair of just January females that we have, and I think they sort pretty quick when you get them out on the move. Uh, the female that wins the class just has more flexibility uh, from hawk to ground and just gets around the ring. They both have a lot of volume and performance and just length about them. This heifer is just a little nicer in terms of her joint work. Again, another nice heifer, like I said, in terms of that length of body and performance. Maybe a little tremor in her condition. I'll give that to her also. Just need to square up there in those feet uh, and shape of her foot there and just see her flex just a little bit better out there on the move. Give him a nice ham. And once again, I'm not going to go through each one of these and, and tell you what I've told you already about them. They're just some four high quality ones out here. I, I think three are really elite. And within this, divi this division, um, you know, very, very close. But I think uh, I'm going to pair up them two that were in that first class because it was so good and they're just so good in their total aspect and how everything ties together in a real uniform, smooth package. Congratulations to this young lady. Young man, you'll be reserved. Catch up on results here on the division, first of all, for the Junior Kitty Show. Your early junior heifer calf champion is 576. That comes out of class 738A. That's J Cell. Who's the darling? 9021 GET. Hadley Duncloud from Wayne, Nebraska. Reserve was 583 from the same class. J Soul, that shiny darling. Brett Pembroke, Fairview, Oklahoma. 576 was your champion for the division, and 583 is reserve. Up next, we have three single entry classes on the key side, and then the senior heifer calf division championship. Back over on the Charlay side. Okay, a uh, little smaller division, but still going to have a lot of quality as we take them to the, the final drive. And I think a heifer that just kind of comes to the front pretty quickly in this division, particularly when you kind of get off to the profile, study the sharpness of the female that I'm going to use, the quality, the hip, and just how she's structured there off of her rear two. Just a little more dimensional just truer in her shape all the way through from front to rear. So really nice division. We'll pull in the second and uh, give them a little closer look, but uh, nice job. We'll use the heifer out of the first class.
junior half, junior calf champion female, 29-31, out of class 104A, boy, Triple M, Montella, 956G, Addison, Albers, Wisner, Nebraska. That'll move 29-22 in the contention reserve. We're going to have three single entries uh, coming up here, and we'll just briefly describe this one. It's just a nice, nice November heifer. That, you know, I'll just call her a low input, low, low input individual. I mean, just a sow middle kind of a female, just a tremendous amount of middle body. Watch her come and go, really wide based as she comes and goes. You know, nice front end, looks like a female. We'll, 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 she'll be very competitive, come back in here. And we'll t for our division on these three single entries coming up. Catch up on results here. Let's go back over to the Charlay side first of all. That division championship and that class 104B. Let's get 104B results first. First place 29-38. Carly 92-29. Flippo Family Farms, Rush Springs, Oklahoma. Right Charlay, Richmond, Missouri. Second was 29-37. Lily, Trisha Nightball. From Newcastle, Nebraska, the scratch was 29-36, so it's scratch 2-1. Now, as far as the division goes, your champion in reserve for the junior calf, both come from Class 104A, your champion, 29-31, boy, Triple M, Montella, 956G, Addison Albers, Wisner, Nebraska, the reserve, 29-22, Miss Gala, that is uh, Taylor Goring, McPherson, Kansas. Up next, we move to the winter heifer calves on the Charlotte side, Class 105. Over here on the uh, key side, result on Class 739, first place 585, Ben Berenstrope, O'Neill, Nebraska, with Miss Picante in the ring and with results on Class 740. Here's our judge, Jim Bloomberg from Berwick, Illinois. Well, another high quality individual with a single entry, and we're, we're not going to really, we'll probably describe him when we get into vision a little more. Uh, simply because uh, I don't want to really give give anything away, but you know this one is highly presented, really sweet up through that front one, one third. You like her bone work and her clean joints, you know, nice foot on this one. Going to be interesting once again. We'll get them all in here together and compare them. Congratulations to the young lady. We'll kick off this fall class with a single uh, entry uh, uh, female here. Tons of performance and shape about her. Maybe not quite the balance that we've seen in a few other class winners, but still pretty nice in her own right. Going to make a nice cow for her. Congratulations. Catch up on results. Over on the Charlay side, class 105, winner heifer calves. First place, 29-42, Miss 4M Majestic State. McKenna, Mitchell, Justin, Texas. Up next, we'll move to senior heifer calves, class 106, with our judge Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Back over on the key side of the ring is 740B, single entry. And the result in 748, first place 587, Abby's Angel. Abby Wilkins, Lamar, Arkansas. Bring this last sing single entry in here for division, and just another powerhouse. I mean, this one here in the side view profile just gives you a silhouette that, you know, is very, very good. The depth and the mass that she exhibits, you know, the heaviness of structure, and, the, and, and you can kind of see that muscle working for her when you get right, right behind her and down her top. We'll, we'll describe them a little more and, 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 and kind of go back and forth between the three when she comes back out. Congratulations to you. Nice, nice female. Over on the key side, the result on class 740B, first place 586, J-Boy, Tammy, Julia Fry, Johnstown, Colorado. Up next will be the division championship for senior heifer calf. First place animals in there from 739, as well as 740A and that class 740B. Judge once again from Berwick, Illinois, Jim Bloomberg. And once again, over on the other side for the Charlotte, this is Class 106 Senior Heifer Cavs with our Judge Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri.
Let me just go through real quick and describe these as a class and look at their positives and, and their negatives and not, not too many negatives on three outstanding females. First class winner was in November, you know, just like the mass that she has in the middle part of her body, an extra shape down her top, you know, sweet enough fronted. I don't think soundness and mobility is an issue on this one. Uh, once in a while you get on the move she, and she was kind of balking for the young man, but she may, might want to roll her hip down just a little bit and come up in her loin. Probably didn't stay, stay quite as level on the travel as she does on the stand. Nice, nice female. Really a high presented female here coming in here in the, in the next class, that October female. You know, just love the condition on this one. She's still green and, and, and I think and that's a good, a good thing. I think she has that advantage between the other two. But uh, you know, maybe she's a little greener because when you get right up on her, she is just a little bit narrower coming right at you and probably doesn't have that expansion of rib and, and, and heart that we have in the other two at this stage of her development. But boy, she's dead level on the stand. Really smooth walking, really long reaching. That's a nice high quality individual also. You know, the big mama down here in the end, you know, just a mass. You know, this one here is a powerhouse as far as depth of body and, and get behind this one. Just a tremendous amount of shape. But still, then you, you look through that front one third, she's got a cow look to kill you. I mean, that's a cow. And I can just envision this one down the road, you know, laying down and having one and being, being low maintenance, low input for years to come. Gets a little coarser about her neck probably than the other two. I mean, got a little more neck. But still, I think a, a, a real good brew cow prospect. Here today, I'm going to pair up a couple that I think just have a little more shape and body. The big powerhouse female right here is going to be our champion. Young man with the November is going to be our reserve. Congratulations to all three exhibitors. Good half for young lady. There's a result on the division championship for the Junior Key Show. Senior Heifer Camp champion comes from class 740B, that's 586. J-Boy WF Tammy, 885ET. Julia Fry, Johnstown, Colorado. The reserve comes from class 739, 585. RJC Miss Picante, 99F. Baron Strope, O'Neill, Nebraska. Up next, a single entry, class 742 and the single class in the division. This will also be your summer yearling division championship with our judge Jim Bloomberg from Berwick, Illinois. Single entry division here in this big, uh, powerful May female, and you know there's some good to this one. She's probably a little bigger than I like, you know, as far as uh, frame score and and uh, inputs that you have to put in one at this size. If you had a whole bunch of them, but still, you know, there's a lot of good to this one for her frame size. Plenty of middle, plenty of body, plenty of width as she comes and goes. You know, on the stand, you just really like the levelness of design this female has. You pushing some chest. You know, a little bit of chest kind of throws off her balance of nickel. But still, you know, to me, if you heard me yesterday, that doesn't bother me a bit. It kind of throws her off in the show ring. But those kind maintain after they have that first calf. You know, if you're going to get critical, you probably like to see her come and go a little nicer off both ends. But that's a nice female. Congratulations on that class winner and also the division winner. Result in class 742, first place, and your summer yearling division champion, 590, J. Boyd Tammy, 851 ET, Ashley Miller, Armington, Illinois. Up next, class 743, and also your late spring yearling division championship. He's born April 3rd through April 27th, 2018.
This is a real interesting class, and I, I commend the exhibitors for uh, bringing me a tough one because I, I think you could do this class several different ways and justify it. I'm just going to tell you what I see in these cattle. Female that wins the class ties together those two big bodied rips in second and third, but has the look of what you get in four and five. And that's just how it is. This female has a really, really a nice female look about her, but yet she has the body, she has the ribs, she has the doability. You study her in terms of her feet and legs. She gets out and walks quite well, in my opinion. And she's right in terms of frame size. And I think that's the other thing that you've got to weigh and balance with yourself in this class is that where you want to be. And she really kind of does it right, in my opinion. Really fault free, nice female to go ahead and start the class. These uh, two females coming next in second and third, I like their performance, I like their body, I like their rib and doability about them. This heifer between the one that I put in third is just a little sounder in terms of her feet and legs. You watch her and how she sits down off of those back toes. She's just a little truer and square in how she goes there, a little more flexible around the ring. You get off to this female, and I think that's where you can get a little bit more picky on her, just a little heavier condition and plainer in terms of that look and quality. I'd like to freshen her up there in that condition. A little higher presented heifer coming next here in third tons of rib shape and full rib in this female. I like the dimension and strength that she shows uh, from shoulder to hip. You study this female down on those rear feet. She gets a little smaller footed at the ground and she needs to be square and sounder there how she steps out. But that is one interesting, good looking female. Just needs to be better in those rear feet. These two girls coming next uh, did a heck of a good job out here showing these two heifers, and I, I want to like them. I really do because they've managed them, and I hope they're just a little bit greener yet in terms of their condition, and they're saving them for a summer junior national. If that's the case, they're going to have a lot of fun with them because the shape in them is right, the dimension and turn of them is right, the look and quality is right. They just don't have that full rib and that volume to them today, and it, so it just kind of leaves a question mark in your mind, but two really, really nice heifers. Heifer coming next, a little more dimension yet, a little more performance. I like that lengthener, doesn't quite balance as well. Need to see her a little bit longer striding. Kind of the same thing here, and a heifer that's presented quite well. Young man showed her really good out here, just gets a little bit short stepping and a little bit plainer in terms of that condition and look. Give him a nice hand. That's a very, very good class of falls. Up next for the Charlay will be Senior Calf Division Championship with our judge Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Here's results on Class 106. First place, 29.51. J&J Angelina, 8.23. Sydney Johnson, Orlando, Oklahoma. Second, 29.54. JFS Stone Split, 101F. Stewart Skiles, Hertford, Texas. Callie and Ellis, LaWard, Texas. Third, 29.55. RFSC Miss Mora, 8221 ET, Georgia Cosa Torto from Hillmore, California. Fourth, 2956, DR Lisa, 2588, Shayla Dismukes from Chicota, Oklahoma. Fifth, 2960, DR Lisa, 2268, Carly Dismukes, Chicota, Oklahoma. Sixth, 2953, CKG Miss Skyla, 810, 4F, Sage Ward, Laramie, Wyoming. Seventh is on the next page there, 2961, Cars Miss Insider. Mason Lefeste from Cameron, Texas. Program placings for Class 106 were as follows. One, six, two, three, four, five. Top of the next page, seven. Once again, first and seconds in the ring. This is your Senior Calf Division Championship. All right, uh, these two girls bringing their uh, class winners around. I think you can kind of see as well as I can. Uh, you get these two heifers out on the move. There's one that just has a little bit more balance and a little bit more style about her, but yet we're not losing that doability and rib and, and volume. Um, congratulations to all three of these exhibitors uh, out here in this division. Give them a nice hand. I'm going to go with the two out of the last class. Congratulations. Senior Calf Division Champion for the Charlay comes out of Class 106 as did your reserve. Your champion is 2951, 
J&J Angelina, 823. Sydney Johnson, Orlando, Oklahoma. Reserve, 2954. JFS Stone Split, 101F. 101F. Stewart Skiles, Hereford, Texas. Callie N. Ellis, LaWard, Texas. Up next for the Charlet, a single entry for Class 107, late summer yearling females. We have two classes in this next division for intermediate. This is an August single entry, a heifer that, again, has uh, quite a bit of length, quite a bit of performance to her, uh, moves around the ring pretty well. Um, maybe you could see her just a little classier up through that front end, but a heifer that sure takes care of the basics. Thank you. Result on Class 107, first place, 29.63. TC Lady Snow, F99. Tara Tillefson from Warden, Washington. Up next, Class 108, summer yearling heifers. These born in May 2018. After this, intermediate champion selection.
kind of really have uh, one of every shape and size in this class and condition definitely plays a part in this uh, set of them but I think the one that comes to the front does so pretty easy in my opinion just in terms of feet and legs length of body quality hip and hind leg structure a really really nice one that just has cow written all over female coming next and second you give up some pounds and just performance in her and I wish she has would it would have just a little bit more volume about her she's a, a female though that has a lot of quality a lot of balance and I think of what we have remaining I think just a little bit more structure and hind leg quality as you get into her uh, just not quite the length and the volume to run with that one right up ahead of her. You get that in the female that comes next here in third, and I appreciate all of her rib and her volume, the length of her. She's one that I would change there in terms of her front toes, just see her shaped a little bit differently and how she set, sets down there, tuck that tail head in her, but I like the length, I like the volume, I like the quality in that heifer. Female that comes next here in fourth that we'll finish out the class with, Tons of mass, tons of dimension. I think she's a real tool, um, but you know she's a heifer. It gets a little bit plainer, a little bit more jammed up for me up through that front one third. But a heifer that really has a lot of dimension and volume there to her. Talk about these two here. I think two outstanding females, and not neither one of them are, are the same. You know, young man's uh, female, a nickel moderate, more moderate. Not a, I mean, not a lot because she's still a big old stout girl, you know, super smooth in her total makeup. Love the sweep to her middle part of her body, you know, love the angles up through her front end. I, I really appreciate that about her. Got some hip shape, you know, some pelvic dimension, and I think her, her moderation, I, I, I really like that quite a bit about her. Bigger, stouter female right behind her, a heavier boned individual, a bigger footed individual. You know, ones that's really stout in her muscle shape, but still it has it in a real feminine appearing package uh, up through her front one third. Huge hip in this female, extremely long bodied. You know, you, you watch them get around, you know, I think she's very sound. She, and some guys might get picky. She misses her stride, what, three or four inches? You know, big deal. She's still got the right kind of flex out of her hip. So got the right uh, cushion at her, at her pastern. And I do like that. Maybe tips over just a nickel up front. That's kind of why I, I, we're going to kind of use that heifer here today, and she's going to be second. I think two outstanding individuals. I like the moderation. That's, that's the type, I think, a no-holes heifer there that wins the class. Awfully nice heifer in second. Congratulations to both, both those individuals. Young lady with the red shirt, another really smooth made balance. You like how everything ties together on this one. You know, she's, the balance and the smoothness is why she's going to be third. You know, she probably doesn't have the shape. Maybe this is the one right behind her of the next two. You know, you'd probably like to open her up in her hip just a nickel, you know, to, really to make her more competitive with the two ahead of her. But she's in third because she's so designed so nice and, they're, and just smooth from front to rear. You know, I just like that type. I like, I think, you put her in production. I just like everything about her, how everything transitions in her pieces. Big style, big middle female here just gets a little piecey for me. Gets a little harder right behind her heart. You know, I, I pushes just a little more at the point of her shoulder. But boy, when this young man gets her parked, you know, you love her. Super sound. Love the feet and legs on this one. I don't think that was a problem in none of these females on how they get around the ring. I mean, a lot of cow power here. Just pieces up a little bit when you get her on the travel for me. But a you know, nice, nice female. Young ladies have her just a little bolder made. You know, not more, probably not as much my type because of that fact, but you can't deny the stoutness and the and doability and the low input this female possesses. You know, it's got a little more shoulder, just makes her a little coarser up through her head and jaw, probably not quite as feminine in my opinion, but still a stout one that's really a breeding piece. What an outstanding group of five females. Congratulations to all those exhibitors. Well, this division didn't have a lot of numbers, but I'd say uh, when uh, these uh, two uh, winners get put in the journal and folks are reading it, uh, they would expect that there would have been probably quite a few of them here because these, these two heifers are really nice that we have in this division and uh, a nice one that won the first class as well. But I, I think we kick it up a notch here. I'm very, very pleased uh, with the heifer that we're going to use here. Let's give them a nice end, folks. A good division here. Uh, they're showing these cattle very well. I'm proud out here. I'm going to keep the two out of the last class uh, together. Thank you.
Catching up on results here. Stick on the Charlay side. Intermediate division champion is 2968 JFR Fancy. Braxton Flippo from Filippo from Rush Springs, Oklahoma. And the reserve was 3003 TR Miss Franny, 8730 FET. Kelton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Both the champions are coming out of class 108, the summer yearlings. Up next, two entries in the late spring yearling females. We move to the junior division. Our judge, once again, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Back over on the Keenina show. In the ring will be class 744 and also the next division championship. Going back to class 743 and your late spring yearling division championship. First place in champion, 598, Dunk M.W. Lucy, Keegan Steck, Woodstock, Minnesota. Second reserve, 593, Candy, Julia Fry, Johnstown, Colorado. In third, 597, Why Not Finesse, Bailey Thompson, Westport, Indiana. Fourth, 595, Emily's Jalen, Ethan Timer, Pennsburg, Pennsylvania. Fifth, 592, Mrs. Felicity, Mrs. Felicity, Madison Frazier, Meeker, Oklahoma. Program placings for Class 743 in the division, one in champion, three. Scratch, four, two in reserve, five. As I mentioned, in the ring, Class 744. This is also your early spring yearling championship. Birth dates range, these are March babies. Our judge, Jim Bloomberg from Berwick, Illinois. Another nice class of uh, older, I think these are March females out here. And certainly their top pair comes to the top pretty handily. These are elite females, both of them. And then certainly we talked some differences between the two. I'm just going to talk our class winner. Just being a little more smoother down her top, a little fuller hearted, a little nicer right behind her shoulders. You know, I, th I just think she holds her. A skeleton together and just a little nicer tighter package than the one right behind her nice bellied good hip super sound nice footed just a nice nice female congratulations another good one right here now this is a cow and love love where she's at in gestation that's really to me an added advantage gonna have a beautiful udder you know and this one here is really lean you know that, that big old heavy calf's probably making her walk just a little funny from behind she it's not coming out of her hip quite as nice but you can see she's sound good curve to her leg she sits back on her heel good angles from her bastards down gets a little tighter hearted maybe i need to like to open her up in, in her upper rib design right behind her blade but still those are two elite females congratulations to those two young ladies Black heifer next, another solid female. Go ahead and lead her out for the people, young lady. Um, good solid female, love her lines, love her length, just kind of got cut, caught by a buzzsaw here. I love her moderation. You know, there's one that has a lot of usefulness in her type and kind. And like I said, just got kind of got overwhelmed by two really, really elite females. Red female, you know, there's one I think when you, you know, compare the next two, I think she's just, just got a little more cow look to her, a little softer middled, just a little easier keeping kind of female when you put her into production. You know, a, a good female, once again, hit a tough, tough class. Young man's uh, heifer coming out here next. 
It's like to maybe you know, get, make her just a little more feminine in her, in her features. Yeah, I, I like to change her head a little bit. She's got plenty of shape, plenty of muscle. Uh, just a little more masculine instead of feminine in her type and design. Well, we have two outstanding females here on the Charlay side. And, uh, man, just it's impressive when they bring good cattle to town and they can dress them and put them together. But uh, I, I think at the same time, when you get this one undressed, kick her out in the pasture, you're going to be pretty impressed with what you have. That's a female that studies with so much quality there up through her front end. I love the length of body that she has and the volume and rib, just the cow character that she has from front to rear. Really nice in her joint shape, and she just stays a little more flexible out on the move and especially just a little bit stronger, better there in her top line when you study him on the go. Female in second, when she stopped and this young man gets her part, uh, you, you kind of give her a second look because she has so much power so much dimension to her i love the boldness of this female and i think she definitely has a lot of generating potential love the quality of her hip and hind leg thinks when you let those cattle go this heifer gets a little bit tighter in her top and wants to pull up there up over her loin lay her tail head down in her just a little bit differently but a really really nice pair of females thank you catch up on results on the charlay side class 109 first place 2974 CC BS Call Me Maybe 8906 ET Jenna Telak from Pearl, Iowa. Second 2976 CAG TR Flicka 8640F Kelton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Up next, Class 110 Early Spring Yearling Females, right in front of our next division championship with our judge Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Back over on the other side for the Junior Key Show. In the ring at this time will be our single entry. We'll get the results on that one, Class 745. This is also your Junior Yearling Division Championship. Then I'll give you the results on that last class of division in just a few moments. Our judge, Jim Bloomberg from Berwick, Illinois. Oh, what another elite female to uh, top off our Keen Ina show in our classes here today in our divisions. I mean, this one here just really catches your eye because of her markings right off the bat. And you analyze one like this and just how smooth she is and balanced. And like I say, everything transitions into a really neat kind of a package. Still lean, love her moderation, love where she's going to be at when she's a mature cow. Going to be very interesting seeing this one back out here with the other ones. Going to be a really good championship lineup. Congratulations. Nice female. Up next in the ring for the junior key will be the grand champion female selection. All division champ reserves back in the ring for that. Let's go back and catch you up on those results from class 744 and the early spring yearling division championship. First place in champion 601, J. Sol Hudat Steiner, Sarah Sullivan Dunlap, Iowa. Second in the class and reserve champion 599, Lucille Whitney Walker, Prairie Grove, Arkansas. Third in the class 609, Sangria, Eric. Erica Garcia, Las Lunas, New Mexico, 4th, 603, Weavers, Fufu, Foo Foo. Mia Encinias from Moriarty, New Mexico, and 5th, 610, Mia, Erica Garcia, Las Lunas, New Mexico. And that last class and division, class 745, and your junior league champion was 605, J-Boy Tammy, 837F, Tigos, Lady, Oklahoma. As I mentioned in the ring next, this will be your grand champion, Keenina Jr. female selection. Our judge, Jim Bloomberg from Berwick, Illinois. Married to his wife, Mary, for 35 years. They have three children, Blake, Jamie, and Jake. All were involved exhibiting numerous breeds and are now still involved with the cattle industry. Family primarily raises Semental and Angus breeding seed stock. He's been honored to have sorted numerous local, regional, and national shows from coast to coast, and we are honored to have Jim Bloomberg here at the National Western Stock Show once again this year from Berwick, Illinois, Judging our grand champion and selecting our grand champion, Keenina female, and reserve grand champion, Keenina female. Nice little trio here of cattle to work through and uh, certainly got to admire uh, the place you start in this class. Really like the quality, the length of her, strength in that top line and the quality there in her hip. 
Uh, you know, there's maybe a couple other heifers that have a little more dimension and, and width there to them than her, but she's got more than plenty, and she just has, to me, the most balance uh, out here. Really like her feet there down at the ground. She'll make her division a nice one here in a little bit. The female here coming next and second. I think it gets somewhat closer um, between second and third. Uh, but I like her body and I like her rib. I think she's stronger down in her heart and her full rib there. She maintains just a little bit more turn back through the rear third of her body and just appears to be a little further along in terms of calf. Uh, the female coming next here in third um, might get out of that front end just a little bit better there in her knee and her shoulder. She's got a lot of length and dimension about her. A female that just struggles a little bit more there off of her rear two and doesn't have quite the heart and full rib. Up next will be the junior champion. First and seconds back in the ring, class 109 and 110. First place, 29.85, TR Miss Fiona, 89.10, FET, Kelton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Second place, 2978. Miss Sister Bevan, this is a ride in your programs. Taylor Goring, McPherson, Kansas. In third, 2980. Gemma, KDU Tech, Hubbard, Nebraska. The scratch was 2984. Program placings for 110 once again. Three, scratch, one, two in the right end, 2978. This is your junior champion female selection with our judge Shane Holt. Shane Holt. <laughs> Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. I knew I was going to do that. Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Graduate of Butler Community College, Kansas State University. Got his master's at the University of Illinois. Currently the COO of American Hereford Association and Director of Breed Improvement. Shane Bedwell, Holt, Missouri. A really impressive division. Uh, congratulations, uh, exhibitors out here and the breeders that are behind these cattle. It's uh, pretty impressive, uh, like I said, in a few of these other classes. But, man, you get all four of these uh, heifers out here and just study how much good is in the cattle. It just makes your heart get to racing and pumping out here when you see uh, how much effort and uh, how much time has been spent into it. And I really appreciate that. I think as you get off of the cattle, there's one that just hits you harder. There's one that has just a little bit more volume, just a little bit more smoothness and just symmetry here today. 
I uh, just like the quality and just the, the, the cow character that I see in this female. Uh, but she's more than that because I, I really think she's something special. Um, nothing to take away from a reserve, but uh, this one hit me very, very hard in this uh, division. Young lady out of that first class, you'll be our champion. Let's give her a hand and all these other kids and young people in this division. Junior champion female is 2974. CCBS call me maybe 8906 ETP. Jenna Telak from Pearl, Iowa. That'll bring 2976 in a consideration for reserve. A reserve junior champion female is 2985 out of class 110. TR Miss Fiona, 8910 FET. Kilton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Up next, our senior division, single class within that division. It'll be class 111. He's born January 15th through February 21st, 2018 in your senior division championship with our judge once again, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Well, not great big numbers in the skiing or junior show, but certainly the quality is uh, second to none when you compare them between breeds. And I had the opportunity to do the mains yesterday, and it's the same thing. These cattle in every breed are getting so good. The people are getting so good at matching up uh, pedigrees and mating them, and it just amazes me the quality that we're getting in, the, in these shows now. Kind of a special deal for me to be able to judge the Keeninas, and uh, people know me, and in the years I've been in it, I, I've seen this Keenan thing come full circle, you know, from the early 70s when we were showing the full bloods, when we were standing on buckets to do their tops, you know, and we had 3,500 pound two-year-old bulls in Louisville, you know, and the thing is, they all go back to that. I mean, and, and we've, we've, we've changed these cattle so good. These cattle are really, I mean, not only good for the Keenan to breed, but not, to me, commercially, you know, there's lots of th things you can use with th these kind of cattle in here. I think there's a, there, there's a lot of potential, and I certainly hope the association keeps pushing that because I think there's a, certainly is a, a really good place within the industry for, for the, uh, the improved quality and performance and, and, and take them to the rail. I think uh, the Keen Indian Breed's done that for years, and I think they can continue to do it. It's my opinion here today. We're not going to go through and talk every every uh, uh, division winner. You know, simply put, I'm very uh, pleased and proud of the cattle out here, and, and I really thank the, uh, the Denver Stock Show for allowing me to be able to come out here and do this. You know, like I just tried to say yesterday, there's no place like Denver. It's an honor, and, and this is the granddaddy of them all. And when you win Denver, I mean, that's quite a thing to put in your hat. So let's put our hands together for these young people. Great group of kids. I'm going to pick a couple females, and I appreciate that opportunity to do this.
Your grand champion, Keenina, female, is 601. That comes out of Class 744 in the early spring girding division. J. Sol Hudat Steiner, Sarah Sullivan Dunlap, Iowa. That'll move 599 and in consideration for reserve grand. While we're waiting for that selection, we at the American and Keenina Association and all over our fellow, fellow cattlemen and friends would like to take this opportunity to wish our president, Draken Culp, a happy early birthday. Thank you, Dr. Culp, for all you do. We hope your day tomorrow is a great one. I believe he's watching online. The reserve grand champion is late spring yearling champion as well. And from class 743, 598, Dunk M.W. Lucy 807F, Keegan Steck, Woodstock, Minnesota. I think we got a picture break on that side. Then when we come back, it'll be the open key Angus female show. Let's go down to the Charlays and get results on this class. You know, they just keep coming. And uh, this one is certainly going to fit in with what we've done today. Love the femininity and just the quality of this uh, Heifer, she gets out and moves so nice, uh, really nice and built up through that front end, stronger in her heart and forerib. I love the shape uh, coming through the rear third of her body, and she's plumbing a really nice utter structure there underneath. Nice, high-quality, maternal-looking female. Heifer coming next and second just fits her a little bit better in terms of frame size, and, and I guess just personally for me is where I'd want to be. Um, because she has so much dimension. I think we can keep them moderate, but yet stack them full of the dimension and turn and shape like she has, you're just fine. And that, that she just suits me a little bit better. She doesn't have quite the running gear as that class winner to go ahead and contend with her today, but uh, I like the moderation and shape. This is a big stout one coming next here in third. Tons of performance and length, and I know we need that in the business. She's just a little too much, though, for me. Um, just gets a little bit shorter and choppier there in terms of her stride. Over on the Charlay side, Class 111 with our judge Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Class 111 results and your senior division championship. First place in champion, 2989, GHC Brenda, 8005. Grand Hills Cattle LLC, Pierce, Colorado, Wright Charlay, Richmond, Missouri, Connor Kisner from DeSoto, Missouri. Second in the class of reserve champion, 2988, TR Miss Fame, 8712 FET, Josie Schrader, Wells, Kansas. Third, 2992, DCC Miss Outsider, 1801, McGuire Roar, Elbert, Colorado. The scratch was 2987. Program placings for 111, scratch, two in reserve, one in champion, three. Cal Cap Pair single entry in the ring and division championship.
Well, these boys brought a good cow to town. Uh, very impressive in terms of just how she's shaped and built. Uh, tons of dimension and power in this female, but yet she gets around the ring and handles her structure really nice. Got a nice heifer calf on at her side, an automatic division champion here at National Western. Let's give him a nice hand, and we'll uh, bring in our grand drive. There's a result on uh, the cow-calf class, which would be class 301, and your division championship. First and champion, 2995, WGB Miss Timeless Lady, 716 PET. That would be Caitlin Brown, Canyon, Texas. Up next, as uh, our judge alluded to, champ reserves back in the ring. This will be a grand champion female selected for this Charley breed. Charley grand champion drive coming in the ring next. After this, we'll get to the bull calves. Once again, this is a grand champion lineup here for the Charlay. Want to do thank Miss Charlay USA, Bailey Mangrum from Marmaduke, Arkansas, for being with us today. Also, want to thank the American International Charlay Association board members that are here: President Mike Shoemaker, Cheryl Lux, Spencer Schrader, Donnie Leedy, Past President Larry Ludicky, Junior board members helping us in the ring: Molly Smith, Kimmy Doran, Devin Bennis, and Haley Schwick. Staff include Executive Vice President Jay Neal Orth. Director of Activities, David Hobbs. Field Representative Floyd Wampler, Colt Keffer, Cody Beck, and Ty Groshans. And Director of Youth Activities, Caitlin Chisholm. And Communication and Events Coordinator, Rachel Booth. Thank you for all the help in the ring today and behind the scenes. For this grand champion lineup, our judge once again, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. The Chief Operating Officer with the American Hereford Association and Director of Breed Improvement. Graduate of Butler Community College, Kansas State University, and got his master's from the University of Illinois. He's the former livestock judging coach at Colorado State University in Fort Collins. His wife is Lacey. They have two kids, Seeley and Chisholm. Our judge once again for this grand champion, Charlay selection, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Over on the other side of the show ring, we're going to restart here with the Open Key Angus female show. Our first entry will be a single entry, single class within the division. So it'll be class 301, summer junior heifer calf division. Our judges hail from Norfolk, Nebraska, Wayne and Barb Ulrichs. Own and operate a purebred cow-calf operation consisting of 140 head of keys, mains, and angus and semis. They believe in quality. Currently, they host two online sales in the fall and an annual bull sale in February. In fact, it's coming up February 7th, 2020. It'll be the 13th annual bull sale. Once again, our judges for our Open Key Angus female show. To my right, Wayne and Barb Ulrich from Norfolk, Nebraska.
Well, we get the mic handed over here to us from uh, Jim, and, and uh, he tells us that, uh, Wayne and Barb, you're going to have a lot of fun out here, so we, we look forward to that. Start out here with a single entry here this morning, really, really nice heifer calf, uh, May heifer calf, really elegant through her design up through that front end. She, uh, that old head and neck comes right out of the top of those shoulders, good in her top line. Love how mobile she is when you get her out on the move. Got some extra depth of body, but yet she doesn't give up some muscle. Awful nice heifer calf to start the morning out with. Congratulations. Always an honor to come to Denver and have the opportunity to set foot here in the stadium arena. It's a big, big honor and uh, something I, I take uh, great pride in doing. Um, it's, it's awesome uh, today, today because in Kansas City, we call it Victory Monday, that big Chiefs win last night. And so we're all pretty excited about that. And we've got a great victory championship lineup out here, uh, here in the stadium arena. And I think these uh, Charlet cattle are certainly, certainly very impressive to look at and view. Uh, you've got some great calves, I think, out here at the front of the line that have a lot of potential. Big, big time future ahead of them. And I, I, when, I, when I saw both of them, and I said, well, man, this, we're going to have to have a pretty good bread to, to get around these two calves uh, out here, and we do. But y your time's coming. Those two heifer calves are certainly really, really nice. I wish them the best of luck. Kind of get into our fall division, our summer here. Two cattle that I think offer a lot of quality, particularly the fall up through our front end. Summer division winner is certainly sound and great jointed, tons of foot quality, and then the heat really started coming in these junior and spring yearling uh, divisions, just like what you'd expect. These guys have managed these cattle. They fit them to a T. My congratulations and compliments goes to you for representing your breed and coming out here and bringing us a lot of quality. Thank you to the association for inviting me. Thank you to the National Western for having me. Really appreciate the opportunity. Give these exhibitors a big, big hand, and we'll show you the two champions. Grand champion female is 2974 out of class 109. And the junior division, CCBS Call Me Maybe, 8906 ETP, Jenna Telak from Pro Iowa. Really, really cool pair of heifers out here for these young two exhibitors out here. We're going to leave them stand just like they are. The young man's heifer we're going to use in first. I guess as Barb and I see them, when we look at this one, she's just a little bit longer fronted. We really like the cool rib shape to her. And where it separates her from the other one, I guess she's softer pastern. She's more mobile when she's put her on the move. Two, but a really, really nice female there. The heifer that's coming out in second, we like her in her moderate in size. We like how much power she has. Really well balanced female. Just like to take this one at this stage of the game and just soften her up in her rear pasterns and when you put her on the move, maybe make her a little bit longer out of her front end as compared to the other one, but two really good heifers. Catch up here on results. Reserve Grand Champion, first of all, on the Charlay. Comes out of the same division 
as your grand champion, but out of class 110. 29.85, TR, Miss Fiona, 89.10, FET, Kelton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Once again, your reserve grand champions, 29.85. Got a picture break here on the Charlet side. And then we'll get into the Bulls. When we resume, I think. Catch you up on results on the open Key Angus female show. Go back to the first class and your first division. First place, class 301 in your summer. Junior Heifer calf champion is 3100. BMW Ace 502 GET. Thomas Willis, Alverson, West Virginia. Over on class 302A, first place 3111. Good Lord Lori. Wyatt Dunclow, Wayne, Nebraska, second place 3110. Miss Gia. Charlie Joey Holt, Aberdeen, South Dakota in the ring. Single entry 302B. Up next will be the junior, late junior heifer calf division championship. Got another single entry over here on the Key Angus side. A heifer that's really elegant and really sweet up through her front end. You certainly have to appreciate the femininity in, in this female. Long, long spine type of heifer. Heifer, if we change her a little bit, we'd certainly like to depth, deepen her up and give her a little more depth of body. And uh, maybe more so when we put her out on the move. She just wants to get a little bit tighter moving in those rear pasterns and doesn't stride out quite as freely and nicely as... Uh, couple of them we've seen out here before. But that's a nice heifer. She'll make a really nice cow for this young man. Here's a result on class 302B. First place, 3107. DS, why not? David Smith, Boulder, Colorado. Division championship coming up next with Wayne and Barb Ulrich from Norfolk, Nebraska. This will be late junior heifer calf division championship. First and first and seconds back in the ring from classes 30, excuse me, 302A and 302B. First and seconds from 302A in that last class, 302B. Late Junior Heifer Calf Division Championship. This is the 2020 National Western Open Key Angus Female Show.
out here in this division, out here of Kiangas heifers, young man's heifer that was in out of the first class here. Really liked this heifer. I guess where she separated herself is when you put her on the move. She's just so flexible and she's soft in her pasture and she's good moving. And with that, she still has some internal dimension. She's soft bodied. Really like this one, how she comes out. Her neck comes out of the top of them shoulders. She's really smooth through them shoulders. You can just tell that one has a world, a world of future to her. Young man's heifer here, really a long-spined, elegant female. And when you get behind her, she probably actually has more power to her than what the first heifer does. But I guess where we'd like to change her, we'd like to soften her up in that midsection and probably loosen her up in her rear pasterns for us. Young ladies heifer that was second in that first class, as Barbara and I said, we really liked how that female was. She's moderate in her size. We liked her depth of rib. And where we wanted to change her also is when you put her on the move, just loosen her up a little bit on them rear hind wheels. With that young man out here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to be our division champion, and we're going to follow up with the young ladies heifer out of that first class, and you'll be reserved. Congratulations. Here's results on late Junior Heifer Calf Division Championship. Your champion comes from 302A, 3111. Good Lord Glory. Wyatt Dunklow, Wayne, Nebraska. The reserve comes from the same class as your champion, 3110. Miss Gia, Charlie Joy Holt, Aberdeen, South Dakota. Up next, we move to class 306, two entries. This will also be a division championship. This will be our last class and last division in front of our grand champion, Key Angus, female selection. Our judges, once again, Wayne and Barb Ulrich from Norfolk, Nebraska. It all starts with a dream, which turns into dedicating early mornings, late nights, long days in the show barn, and thousands of miles traveling down the road to the next one. The hours, sweat, and perseverance put into achieving these aspirations seem small in comparison to the bigger picture as it becomes a reality. And although you believed you were working toward the goal of banners and buckles, you later realized it was for something much more. Leaving your legacy isn't easy. It takes hard work, dedication, and a never give up attitude. But it's within these moments that champions are defined and dreams come true. Sullivan Supply, helping you build your legacy.
No, I know it. Uh, we've been down in the yards all week long, and, and, and it's been tough on these catalysts in terms of movement and having a good place to walk. But this effort just wants to open up in her front just a little bit more than maybe we'd like to see her. Just struggles in terms of her movement right now to move her up into to, up into first first hole here today. Congratulations. Nice pair of heifers. Get started with our bull show here in the Charley uh, side. Uh, nice June bull calf. Uh, tons of dimension and width and shape about him. You know, he's a bull that uh, we'll get back out here in a little bit and see how he compares, but certainly has some thickness and width about him. Catch up on results here. Over on the Key Angus, just in front of our Grand Champion Key Angus female selection, which is coming in the ring right now. Here's the results on class one on excuse me, class three oh six. First place and champion late spring girding is thirty one twenty two BMW Why Not Finesse, Bailey Thompson, Westport, Indiana. Second in the class and reserve in the division, thirty one seventeen, Derry Comfrey, Dixon, Illinois with Faith. Grand Champion, Key Angus Female Selection, and the Reserve Grand Champion Selection going to take place next in the ring with our judges, Wayne and Barb Ulrich from Norfolk, Nebraska. Back over on the Charlay side in the ring, Class 203A, early spring bull calves, a result in Class 202, late spring bull calves. First place, 3006, Lone Star, Rash Family Cattle, in Excelsior Springs, Missouri. Pick up the pace just a little bit more with this April, uh, another single entry. Tons of style and length in him, phenomenal hind leg and just joint quality and how he sits down there on those rear two. We'll get him back here in a little bit and study him next to that June, but congratulations. There's a result on class 203A, early spring bull calves on the Charlet side. First place 3007, D&D &D bulletproof, 1925 PLD. Wild Indian Acres, DeSoto, Missouri, Cannon Charlays, Newton, Iowa, Peyton Daub from Danville, Indiana, and Bryce Maynard from Danville, Indiana. Up next, the single entry for Class 203B, Early Spring Bull Calves. After this, we'll have our Spring Calf Championship selection for the Bulls with our Judge Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. On the other side, once again, this year, Grand Champion Key Angus Female Selection. Our judges, Wayne and Barb Ulrichs from Norfolk, Nebraska, own and operate purebred cow-calf operation, consisting of 140 head of Keys, Mains, Angus, and Simmies. They believe in quality. Currently, they have two online sales, one in the fall and an annual bull sale in February, coming up February 7th, in fact, of this year. That'll be the 13th annual bull sale. Once again, Wayne and Barb Ulrichs from Norfolk, Nebraska. Another uh, single entry, but a good one. Uh, Going to make for an interesting division. Like the base width and the power, the masculinity and ruggedness of this bull. Still handles all his mass pretty well in terms of his movement. Nice single entry again. We'll see how they compare back out here in the ring. Result on Class 203B, early spring bull calves. First place, 3001. CAGTR and Cartel, 9620 GET. Cagney, Effling, Highmore, South Dakota. Up next, all first place from each three classes will be in the ring, Spring Calf Division Championship. Let's congratulate these exhibitors in the Key Angus show. A small show, but quality run very deep. Without a doubt, this heifer that came out of the first division, when she walked in, it was kind of like, wow, that one is really, really good. You love this one from her standpoint of her structure. 
you love her in her body, you get behind her, she's got some power to her, and one with that much power, she's so good shoulder, she's so good neck, just really attractive, really complete individual. Young man's heifer that was in that second class, she simply won that from the standpoint of her structure ability as she moved around the ring, really soft in her pasterns, and yet with that, she still has a really nice rib shape to her, she's cool out her front end, uh, just a really, really nice, complete female. Maybe not one of the stoutest made ones that we have out here in the lineup, but I can project that one again in the future. That one will be a really cool, good-looking bred female that has a lot of future to her. Big bred female out here. I guess we really like this one. For her, as mature as she's getting to be, she still maintains a nice neck, nice shoulder into her. She comes back to a really cool body shape. Put her on the move. Still handles the ring exceptionally well. She's got some power behind her. Maybe if he's going to nitpick her on her just a little bit. We'd like to, she probably gets just a little bit open in her front end, but we also realize that when they're show heifers, I mean, heck, they can all kind of get that way as long as they've been on feed and with the environment. Really cool set of heifers. We'll go out and show you which ones we like. Sure, uh, not a lot of numbers, but a nice division here. Uh, I think it comes down to the two older calves as you get them out of, back out of here. April calf, uh, there's maybe a little more length in him, and I particularly like him uh, down his top line and out of his rump there. I think he has a little bit more bone and foot size there at the ground. And, you know, I think the two bulls complement each other really well where maybe the other one could be adjusted. Him specifically, I'd like to give him just a little bit more chest a little bit more heart and full rib in him there, right in behind his shoulder, but I like the length and sure the strength of that bull as you get out to his rump and down into his hind leg and his foot quality. The real masculine bull won the March class and uh, really appreciate his extra doability and his full rib, a little more moderate in terms of his size and I like the stoutness of that bull and I think he's gonna continue to get good uh, on down the road. He rolls just a shade there off of his rump but um, I do like his jaw, I like his masculinity, I like that full rib in him. I'm going to use him for the division, we'll use the April for reserve. Congratulations. Catch up on results here, grand champion Key Angus female, 31-22, why not finesse? Bailey Thompson, Westport, Indiana, that comes out of that late spring yearling division and class 306. A reserve grand champion Key Angus female comes out of class 301 in the summer junior heifer calf division. 3100 BMW Ace 502 GET Thomas Willis Alderson, West Virginia. Up next on the Key Angus Bull Show will be a single entry class 401 and the late junior bull calf division championship. Over on the Charlet side, your champion for the spring calf is 203B, out of 203B, it's 3001 Cartel. C-A-G-T-R Cartel, 9620 G-E-T, Cagney, Effling, Highmore, South Dakota. The reserve comes out of class 203A, early spring bull calves, 3007 D&D &D Bulletproof, that is Wild Indian Acres, DeSoto, Missouri, Cannon, Charlays, Newton, Iowa, Peyton, Daub, Danville, Indiana, Bryce Maynard from Danville, Indiana. Up next for the Charlay will be class 204A as we go into the next division, the Junior Bull Calf Division. Go ahead, walk in with Over here on the Kiangas Bull side, start out our first class as a single entry. 
I tell you what, uh, we've got some bull power here. If they all come in looking like this, uh, Wayne and Barbara are going to have to scratch their heads pretty hard. Tell you what, if you're in the uh, if you're in the key, uh, if you're raising geek cattle or or uh, key Angus cattle, person ought to seriously consider this bull. This is an awful nice bull. So much power and so much mass to him. So sound. Love his center dimension to him. But when you get behind him, he's got some he's got some length the hip. He's got some power in that hip. He's got some bone, structural integrity. Is just impeccable on this bull. Congratulations, really nice class. Result on class 401, the single entry and the late junior bull calf division championship for the open key bull show. First place in champion 3125, DHAS blackout, KD Satry, Montag, Texas. Up next, a single entry for class 402 and the division championship for early junior bull, early junior bull calf. All right, uh, I'm going to use the bull up front here. I think he's just a little stronger there in his heart and forerib. Uh, gets out of his front end, I think, with a little more balance and style there about him. How everything transitions there through that front one-third, just a little more desirable in terms of that volume and depth that he has. Bull coming out in second. Uh, definitely like the thickness and width that he has there down his top and out of his hip there. Bull that actually steps out pretty good in terms of his movement. Just a little crestier and plainer there up through that front end. Needs a little bit more heart and full rib there in him for me. Result on class 204A on the Charlay Junior Bull Cavs. First place 3015, TRCAG Carbons Vision, 9700ET, Thomas Ranch, Herald, South Dakota. Second, 3020, CL Forces Moto, 1912P, Clift Livestock, Ellensburg, Washington. The scratch was 3019. One scratch, two are the placings in Class 204A. Up next, Class 204B, Charlay Junior Bull Cavs. Another really nice single entry bull over here in the Key Angus division. One that you would look at him from the side. You really like to have to like this one up through his front end. He's really good neck, really good shoulder. Comes back, really has a nice center portion to his body. And when you get right behind him, this bull darn sure has some power in him in his hip and down his top. Just a really nice single entry here that can handle a lot of competition. There's results on Class 402 on the Open Key Angus Bull Show and your early junior bull calf division championship. First place, 3127, JHC, Mr. Garth, 081G, Justin Holt Cannell, Aberdeen, South Dakota. Up next, to move to Class 404, another single entry and the single class within the Summer Yearling Division. So this will be Class 404 and the Summer Yearling Division Championship. Judges once again, Wayne and Barb Ulrich from Norfolk, Nebraska. You know, it's fun to come out here, even though we, though we have single entries, uh, every single one of them have been really good, and the power just keeps on, uh, keeps on keeping on. 
really, really good, powerful Kiangas bull out here. As we visited with the with their exhibitor out here, I tell you what, uh, the the industry can use a lot of cattle made like this. It doesn't matter what breed that you're in. Just love the freshness of this, the maturity, but tr the trueness, the freshness in this bull. You know, he's so good at the ground, big-footed, sound-footed, got a lot of flex and can get out and just flat-out move. And not only with that is he made really good at the ground, just look at him in terms of his top shape, that hip, that quarter, that dimension through the center portion of his body, bull that we like really well. Congratulations. Here on the Charlet side, I think a really nice place to start with a bull that puts a lot of good things together. Study him, and he's sure rugged and masculine enough, but yet uh, he has enough style and uh, just symmetry to him to be really good. He's opened up right in terms of his body and his rib and maintains a really dimensional pin set, walks out really good in terms of his stride. From there, I thought it was a little tough, honestly, and I uh, think you could mix them up just depending on where you wanted to put priority the bull in second. To me, relative to his frame size, He's got the best shape to him of the bull's left. He's got a really thick and, and dimensional as you get in behind him. I think he balances up better in terms of his shoulder. Uh, he's stronger down his top line and just maintains a little more width there. Bull coming next here in second has a little more length about him. It's a bull that gets out and moves pretty good, pretty smooth in terms of his profile. Bull that just gives up some of the muscle uh, found on the cattle on either side of him. I like this bull in fourth here. Tons of performance and weight per day of age. Like the thickness and shape that he has. Just need to fix him down into his knee and his front shoulder. Just a little coarser there than what I like. Catch up on results here. Let's go back over on the open key Angus bull show. In the ring is class 406. Let's go back to 404. Here's a result in your summer yearling division championship. First place 3128. DAJS the fixer. Katie Satry, Montag, Texas. That was your division champion in the ring, 406. And this is also your senior yearling champion. After this, I have your grand champion, Key Angus Bull Selection. Big stout, powerful individual here over here in the Key Angus ring. Get behind this bull, and I mean, he is massive, and he's got a massive old top in him. Really long-spined individual. I guess the one thing we would like to change about him, you put him on the move. He wants to get up in his top ever so slightly when you put him on the move. We're not going to take that away from him. Just a really stout, powerful, massive individual with a lot of performance. Senior yearling champion and Class 406 winner, first place and champion, 3129, WCC negotiator 418E, Wilson Cattle Company, Cloverdale, Indiana, and Harmon Cattle Company, Orlando, Oklahoma. Up next, as I mentioned, will be the grand champion and reserve grand champion, Key Angus Bull Selection, with our two judges, Wayne and Barb Ulrich from Norfolk, Nebraska. Back over on the Charlay side, this is your division championship for junior calf. Going back to class 204B, here's a result. First place, 3026, Icon, Wright Charlay's, Richmond, Missouri. Second, 3025, Conquistador, Rush Family Cattle, Excelsior Springs, Missouri. Third, 3023, New Resource, Cadillac Ranch, Charlay's, Rainer, Washington. Fourth, 3024, Turn and Burn, Sean A. LaFeste from Cameron, Texas. The program placings are 3 4 2 1. As I mentioned in the ring, Junior Calf Division Championship for the Charlay Bulls, our Judge Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Okay, a nice division again here, and I think it comes down to your preference which way you want to go in, in this division, but I think there's one that's just a little better out of his hip and his rump, one that's just a little bit more athletic as you study him out there on the, on the stride. So let's give these exhibitors a nice hand. It's been a good uh, competitive bull show here in these junior calves. Junior bull calf champion on the Charlay side, 3026 Icon. WC Icon, 9200P, right Charlay, Richmond, Missouri. Second is 3025, that'll roll into reserve, or into uh, consideration reserve. Reserve is 3015, that comes out of class 204A, TR, CAG, Carbons Vision, 9700ET, Thomas Ranch, Herald, South Dakota. Up next, we'll go to the senior bull calves, first class. 206 is also a division.
Come back over here to the Kianga side. Uh, Kiangas Bulls, uh, four bulls out here. Every one of them a division winner. Every one of them really, really good. I guess we just talked about them quickly out here as they come out as individuals and classes. Uh, go over them again just shortly. Uh, they certainly need some recognition in terms of quality that we do have out here. First bull, the younger bull, as he come out here, boy, just so much power and so much mass, the bone, the structure, the footwork he's got him under him. But then building from there on up, he's built just as good and certainly does not disappoint you once one bit. A lot of maturity in that young bull, but there's a lot of power and a lot of class and a lot of muscle in him. Then the next bull that comes out at us, he's a real fresh appearing bull, youthful looking bull. Until you get right on this bull, you really don't appreciate the extra power that he does have when you get right on top of him and get right behind him. Maybe we'd like to soften him up through his midsection just a little bit, but there's a lot of future in that bull, too. He's, he's just really youthful appearing. The next bull that comes out here, uh, a bull that just excels in terms of length of body, footwork. You get him on the move. He's, uh, he's flawless there bull that's just got so much power and so mass like that extra length in that hip extra length of body but he holds himself together so well so much power and muscle in that bull and we're all in the beef industry we've got to have some muscle in these cattle we can't take all of that out of them and then the bull that uh, the big bull the two-year-old bull that comes in here really elegant really nice up through i guess elegant is in the term uh, on a bull but he's so nice up to that front and he's true he's a big footed bull He's got some muscle to him, too. Uh, good, good big bull. Just wants to get up on his top just a little bit, little bit. There's two bulls that win and I think really excel out here in, in, uh, this, uh, in this final drive out of the top four bulls. They're really, really good. We'll show you who they are. Grand Champion Key, Angus Bull, 31-28, out of the Summer Yearling Division. That is DAJS The Fixer, Katie Satry, Montag, Texas. Real nice, good pair of bulls here, and uh, the bull wins the class. I think just enough more overpowering in terms of just his length. Uh, stays a little bit smoother and longer there up through that front end and shoulder. Really stout and powerful as he works out of his hip there. I think handles his structure really sound as you get him out on the move. Very flexible. I would maybe just see him a little different in how he's shaped there in his testicles there, uh, but a bull that's certainly powerful. Uh, and I think they're fine. I wouldn't have used him, but I like the power and length and stoutness there about him. Bull that comes next here in uh, second, really good in his top line. I like his rump uh, really well and his structure there off of his hip and his hind leg, really stout in his bone. He just got off to the side of those two bulls, and this one just gives up just a little bit more volume, a little bit more performance there and what you get in that class winner. Going back on the Key Angus Bull Show, your reserve grand champion Key Angus Bull is 3125. That's out of the Junior Bull Calf Division. That is DAJS Blackout 93. Katie Satry, Montag, Texas. She takes the grand and reserve grand champion. Up next will be the Keenina Open Female Show. First class will be a single entry and the division championship. Back over on the Charlay side. Result on class 206, senior bull calves and your senior bull calf division championship. First place in champion 3029, JFS Double Nichols F55FET, Wright Charlet, Richmond, Missouri, Jeff's Cattle Company, Stephenville, Texas. Second in reserve, 3030, JVS Long Snapper, F39, JVS Cattle Company, Sulphur, Louisiana. In the ring next, class 208, single entry, and also your intermediate division championship. Another single entry here in an automatic division. 
bull that definitely has a lot of length to him bull that's tremendous in terms of his shape and just expression that he handles all the way through a big rugged bull certainly masculine in his feature congratulations Result on class 208 and your intermediate division championship. First place in champion 30-32. JVS Mr. Burton F12. JVS Cattle Company in Sulphur, Louisiana. Up next, we move to the junior division, class 209. Class 209. We have two classes in the junior division for the junior yearling bulls. Once again, class 209 coming in. Our judge, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Once again, we're in a picture break on the Open Keating Female Show. Our first class when we resume will be class 101 and our division, Summer Junior Heifer Calf Division. Sure, an interesting class uh, here in this uh, that we have here in the Charlay side, and uh, the bull chose to start with. I think just puts it together a little bit stronger, a little more comfortable with where he's at in terms of his frame. I think he's certainly got plenty of performance. Uh, just the the style and the rump structure, the hind leg soundness that he gets around the ring with, I'm definitely more comfortable with. Bull in second, 
Really like his performance. Bullet's got a big testicle carriage underneath him. Bullet's got a lot of bone and just thickness and volume to him. You know, you really get on top of him and you appreciate him more because he, you know, just gets a little bit flatter, though, in his body as you get off to him. But a real nice, thick, high-performing bull. I like the strength in him. Just gets a little bit choppy there off of those back two. Bull will finish the class with, like in terms of his feet and structure on him. It's just a bull that's a little harder uh, than what I prefer. Up next will be class 210, junior yearling bulls. He's born January, February 2018, just in front of our division championship. Here's a result on class 209, spring yearling bulls, born in March. First place, 3034, AWR White Claw, 814, Filippo family, Filippo family Farms, Rush Springs, Oklahoma. Ace is Wild Ranch, LLC, Weatherford, Texas. Second, 3033. CCD Felon, 2FET, Dubit Cattle Company, Sterling, Colorado. Third, 3037. BJCF, JVS, some of it, E37. Bar J. Charlay, Liverpool, Texas. The scratch in the class was 3035. Program placings for 209 are 2 1 scratch 3. 2 1 scratch 3. As I mentioned in the ring, this will be class 210 junior yearling bulls, born in January, February 2018. After this, it'll be the junior division championship, then the senior two row bulls, a single class and division, and then the grand champion bull selection. Really nice single entry over here on the Kianea side. When you study this heifer from the standpoint of her feminine, femininity up through her front end, her elegant front end, and then actually in her femininity and her muscle shape, she's built like a female should be made in her muscle design. And when she gets around the ring, she handles it extremely well. Just a really complete, cool looking individual. We like these kind all day long. Result as we get restarted of the Open Keating of Female Show. First place, Class 101, 3059. That's also your Summer Junior Heifer Calf Division Champion, Min Goldie, Molly Cooksey, Rogan, Colorado. Up next, we have two classes in the next division. Our first class of the two is 102A. A tremendous class of bulls. We pick up the heat uh, pretty fast in this one, and I think the, the one that comes to the front is certainly a bull that... Uh, you really study and evaluate, and the more you look at him, the more you like him. In my opinion, he's a bull that's really athletic, 
I like the condition that he's in. Uh, he's got enough to be a show bull, but yet he's athletic out here, and it, and it helps him uh, get around the ring and just how he moves. I like how he lays that bottom part of his shoulder into his body, just a little bit nicer than this uh, one that comes in second. Bull in second, real moderate and his kind, lots of hip and top, a real rugged, powerful bull. It's really got a nice set of feet there underneath him, just not quite as smooth and how he transitions that front shoulder there at the bottom of it there into his body, not quite as bold there in his heart and his forerib. Bull coming next and third there, you appreciate uh, for all the performance and way per day of age that he shows you a bull that's really bold coming off of his top into his body. A bull that has a lot of power and width as you get in behind him. Set this bull in motion. I think he gets a little bit more jammed up there through his front end. I'd like to change him ever so slightly there off of his rump. But a nice bull that says chuck full of power and thickness. There's results on Class 210 Junior Drilling Bulls. First place 30-43. BRCHE White Bear 8505 PLDET Prairie Cove Farm. Bashaw, Alberta, Canada. Second, 30-40, out of bounds. Doug Satry, Montag, Texas, third, 30-38, outer limits. Lou Ranches, Hanover, Kansas. Double C Ranch, Hanover, Kansas. The scratch was 30-41. Placings for 210, 3-2, scratch. Top of the next page, one. In the rig next with our judge, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri, the junior champion bull selection, followed by the two-year-old bull class 213, which is also division. Then the grand drive. Then we'll get into the group classes. Over here on the Canina side, uh, we've got an excellent female to win this class. The type of female that Wayne and I like really, really well in terms of length of neck. Uh, that old head comes right out of the top of the shoulder. She just gives you that really classy look. Then you study her from there on. She's a big footed, she's a long strided type of female, really soft in those pasterns. But uh, as we build her up from there, lots of depth of body, like that really, really well. But then when you get to her hip, she's a long hip female, she's a long, long quartered female. We like that extra length of body length of side in that heifer in terms of, and also in terms of length of quarter she's a long muscle heifer like that really really well now if we could drop that tail head down in her and in and uh, moderate it out just a little bit we would like to change her there but that's a really high quality female to win the class then the next heifer that comes out really a heifer that's an ultra cool fronted ultra feminine she just uh, gives up a lot in terms of power and she just doesn't balance up quite as nice in terms of movement as compared to the heifer that goes out right ahead of her congratulations to these two young folks there's results on class 102a on the Open Kenina Female Show, first place 3058. Faree Miss Bella, Cassidy Barker, Kearney, Missouri. Second, 3109, J Sol Copper Penny, 9387 GET, Lane Blankenship, Orlando, Oklahoma. Up next, Class 102B. Class 102B, these born March 2019. We do have two additions to this class in your programs, 3105 and 3061. After this will be the late junior heifer calf division championship. Okay, back on the Charlet side, a strong division that we've had here. Get these two class winners back out here. I think they're a lot alike in terms of how they're parked and they get set up there in terms of just their length and strength there down their top line. But as you get into the cattle, uh, the bull out of that second class, I think just has a little bit more oomph to him. Uh, I really like how he's shaped down into his forerib. I like the turn through the one, lower one third of his body, but he doesn't sacrifice it with his joint quality bull that I think is pretty, pretty impressive out here. He'll be our champion. Junior champion bull is 3043 White Bear Prairie Cove Farm from Alberta, Canada. That'll bring 3040 into consideration reserve. Your reserve junior champion bull is 3040 out of the same class as your champion, class 210, 3040. DAJS out of bounds. Doug Satry, Montag, Texas. Up next, as I mentioned, class 213, a single entry, two year old bulls, and your senior champion bull selection, 
That'll be followed by the grand champion selection for Charlet, then the group classes. On that last division championship for the Charlet, we have some added owners to that champion for 3043. You got Prairie Cove Farm, Polson Cattle Company, Caprock Cattle Company, and Buck Creek Cattle Company. This is a powerhouse of a bull here that. Uh Single entry here. We'll get him back out here in the in the ring in a little bit with the grand drive. But pretty impressive how they've managed him and kept him together as strong as they've had. Uh, bull that's just chuck full of body and rib and doability about him. Love his width and the structure that he sets underneath him with. Nice, nice bull. Here's result in class two thirteen two year old bulls in your senior division championship thirty forty five is first and champion. That is carbon copy. TRCAG carbon copy 7630EET Dahl Charlet Ranch, New Salem, North Dakota Wilkin Bush Charlet Halbright, Saskatchewan, Canada Cagney Effling, Highmore, South Dakota Thomas Ranch, Herald, South Dakota Division champ reserves coming back in the ring This will be a grand champion Charlet Bull selection With our judge Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri As we get to that grand champion lineup, once again, I mentioned our judge, Shane Bedwell. He is also the chief operating officer for the American Hereford Association and director of breed improvement. Graduate of Butler Community College, Kansas State University. Got his master's from the University of Illinois. He's also the former livestock judging coach at CSU in Fort Collins. His uh, wife is Lacey, and they have two kids, Seeley and Chisholm. And uh, as he mentioned in that last championship drive, he's a huge Kansas City Chiefs fan. Our judge, once again, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. Pleasure to work with him this year again. We still have group classes on the Charlet to go.
Well, we didn't have quite the numbers as we did in the female show, but uh, again, uh, you wouldn't know it when you pick up your Charlotte Journal and, and see these winners and division uh, winners in the magazine and to see how good these cattle were. Uh, it's pretty impressive, folks, what uh, these breeders have brought to town, put together an outstanding set of cattle for you. I'm pretty intrigued uh, with uh, several of these cattle out here, just curious on where they fall in terms of their their pedigree and also their figures and just you can't help but think uh, what the impact that maybe some of these bulls what they can do for the breed and uh, what they can generate because I, I do really really think there's some special individuals uh, out here in this lineup we've talked them and discussed them uh, quite a bit in their particular classes and divisions I'm not going to go back through and dissect them uh, I will tell you though I think there's a bull out here that's awfully special one that puts together so much in terms of power and mass. He looks like a Charlotte bull and I think represents the breed very well. I love the boldness and the stoutness of this bull. I like what he combines with that as far as his style and athleticism as he gets out and handles his hip. Uh, I think a tremendous individual and uh, a tremendous reserve bull that we're going to use here in a little bit as well. So put your hands together. It's an outstanding representation of Charlotte cattle. It's been an honor judging your show. I'll get you two champions. Well, over here on the Kenya ring, it just warmed up a few degrees. There's no doubt about that. We're going to start off with this heifer out here. She just puts it all together for Barb and I. I guess when you put her on the move, she's impeccable on the move, and there's not a structure problem with any one of these first four that we're going to start off with by no means. But from the standpoint of where this one comes out of that neck, comes out of that shoulder, she comes into a really cool body shape. She still has some power. I like her bone structure, just a really, really good individual young ladies heifer here that we're going to leave in second i guess to barb and i she follows her a lot i guess in type and kind the way she's built just maybe not quite as massive as what that one is today she's really good in her center body like her when you get behind really elegant on the move really, just i guess comparing her to that first one maybe not quite as long neck but that's getting real picky flip them whichever way you want two real good heifers Heifer that we're going to leave in third. We like this one awfully, awfully well. Got that cool look. She's long spine. But I guess to run with the other two above her, maybe just want to deepen her up in the center portion of her body and in her flank a little bit. Not that this one's bad. That's just getting harder on her. She's just run into a really, really good set of heifers. The one coming out here in fourth, this young man, he's got a powerhouse. This one is a beast. Probably has the most tour of any of them of any of the four above her but I guess as we looked at her maybe not got that really cool neck has a little more shoulder to her she has a most amount of rib to her but I guess when you put her on the move she's just not wanting to float along quite like the other three but a really really good female won't take anything away from that one at all the other heifer that just left the ring I guess the one that we like really flexible really long spine heifer good necked individual they are uh, just not quite the body the one that's coming out here the white bellied heifer real stout got a lot of body in her just like to change her inner tail head make her a little more flexible out that rear hind leg catch up on the uh Open key show in just a moment. Go back to your grand champion bull selection. Your grand champion for the 2020 National Western Stock Show comes out of that senior champion bull division and your class 213 3045 TR CAG carbon copy 7630 EET Dahl Charlet Ranch, New Salem, North Dakota, Wilkin Bush Charlet, Halbright, Saskatchewan, Canada. Cagney Effling, Highmore, South Dakota, Thomas Ranch, Herald, South Dakota. Your reserve grand champion, Charlotte Bull, comes from the Junior Bull Division in Class 210, that is 3043, BRCHE, White Bear, 8505 PLDET, Prairie Grove Farm in Alberta, Canada, Polson Cattle Company, Caprock Cattle Company, and Buck Creek Cattle Company. 
Up next, we got the group classes for Charlay to round out our show. Huge thanks once again to our judge, Shane Bedwell from Holt, Missouri. We'll pass those uh, group classing class placings on to you. I want to thank the Miss Charlay USA, Bailey Mangrum from Marmaduke, Arkansas as well. Great job. Thank you for helping us in the ring. Back over on the open key female show. In the ring is your late junior heifer division championship. I'll try to roll through these results real quick on real quick on 102B. First place 3063, Houdat Darlin, Sarah Sullivan Dunlap, Iowa. She's in the ring right now for the division championship. Second 3065, Dunk Ace, Hadley Dunklow, Wayne Nebraska. Third 3133, Roxanne. Whitney Walker, Prairie Grove, Arkansas. Fourth, a ride in 3061. Thunder Girl, Turner, Longacre, Kellyville, Oklahoma. Fifth, 3106. Winona, Caitlin Hart, Berthoud, Colorado. Sixth, 3105, a ride in Blue, Valerie Meyer, Houstonia, Missouri. Once again, late junior heifer calf division championship. First and seconds in the ring from 102 A and B. You kind of did, you did roll right through those there. Now we're in an, into our division here, and we come out to, I'll tell you what, this has been a really, really good division. That last class was as deep as they can possibly get, uh, and I know it'll keep getting better here, I'm sure. The Baldy Heifer, Heifer we talked about out here in class, really like her length of neck that she's got about her, like her head, long-sided Heifer. Heifer that's so deep-bodied, really flexible, got the right amount of bone and structure to her. Maybe wants to get a little bit higher in that tail head that if we could change her there just a little bit, but that's a nice uh, nice female. Like that extra length of side to her as long as that, ex as well as that extra length of, uh, of muscle that she portrays in her quarter. Then we, uh, then we, we just uh, turn the heat up uh, by uh, a few hundred degrees when we come into the next heifer. This heifer is just uh, so elegant again through that front end, just uh, like the way everything is so much in proportion. She's long enough sided, she's so good in that top, and so deep bodied back through that center portion of her, her, of her rib, back into that flank, and the flexibility that she portrays as she gets out and moves, that nice long hip, that really long quarter in her, that's our type of heifer. Congratulations, she's going to win this division. As we bring the reserve heifer into the, that division, another really, really high quality, real well shown heifer too. Heifer that's just a real youthful appearing heifer. She's really nice through that neck region, got that extra depth of body. It's really, really sound when you put her on the move. We like that heifer off awful well too. Congratulations. Late Junior Heifer Calf Division Championship. Both your champion and reserve come from Class 102B, first place, or I should say your champion, 3063, Jay Sol, Houdat Darlin, Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa. Your reserve is 3065, Dunk Ace, 901 GET, Hadley Dunklau, Wayne, Nebraska. Up next, we move to Class 103A on the Open Keenina Female Show. Looks like we have two classes in this next division. Our first of the two classes, Class 103A. Judges once again on that side, Wayne and Barb Ulrich from Norfolk, Nebraska. Own and operate a purebred cow-calf operation consisting of 140 head of keys, mains, angus, and semis. They believe in quality. Currently, they host two online sales in the fall and an annual bull sale, and it's coming up February 7, 2020. It'll be their 13th annual bull sale. Once again, our judges for the Open Keating of Female Show, Wayne and Barb Ulrich from Norfolk, Nebraska. This is Class 103A coming in the ring. First of two classes once again in this next division.
wanted to work in our produce, our, our group classes for the Charlotte to round out the show. We have the results. Produce a dam, first place, Thomas Ranch, Harold, South Dakota, with M&M, Miss Carbine, 1567, PLD, F1151, 854. Second place, Thomas Ranch, Harold, South Dakota, TR, Miss Montella, 1572, Y, F11, 364.70. Third, Thomas Ranch, Harold, South Dakota, with HF Mustang Sally, 904 PLD, F11, 40171. Fourth place, Shayla and Carly Dismukes, Dakota, Oklahoma, with DR Lisa, 523, F11, 68783. The Get a Sire, Junior Get a Sire, was Scratches. The uh, Get a Sire, Senior, first place, Thomas Ranch, Herald, South Dakota, with M&M Outsider, 4003 PLD, M84, 6631. And there was a scratch on Breeders' Herd. That'll round out our uh, Charlet show. Coming up in the ring on that side will be Shorthorn when they uh, bring us our programs and places.